Hey everyone, in this video I just wanted to do a quick overview on how to get audio from your computer onto an iPod. Uh, in my last video I did a couple months ago, I retrofitted my iPod 4G with a new battery and a uh, SD card to replace the spinning hard drive in here. And I was able to successfully get music onto it, but not after a couple of tries. So in this video, I wanted to show how to do that uh, on a current Mac. All right, so I have my, I have my iPod right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my computer. I have a 2020 M1 MacBook Air, uh, just for reference. So your mileage might vary based on the software or the hardware that you're using. So I've got my iPod connected and now if you go to the finder, open up the finder, this is how you interface with the iPod. In the past it was music or, or iTunes, but now uh, they removed that functionality from the music app and they put it into the finder. So plug it in and it shows up here, uh, JTOR's is iPod. So go ahead and select that. And your iPod shows up. So for those who are, or who remember, this is very similar to the screen that you would get when you would hook it up to iTunes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on music. And um, we'll see here that I have it, uh, I have sync music unchecked. So the, way, the reason why I did this is because I want to manually add music to my iPod. And I think that's where it was kind of having some issues. Uh, I think once I enabled or disabled that, I was able to load whatever music that I wanted. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new tab. I'm going to go to where my music is. And this is still organized based off of how iTunes organizes uh mp3s so i still have a bunch of mp3s that i have collected uh, from over the years so i'm just going to go ahead and let's see i don't know if i have this already on my ipod <clears throat> so as you can see that um, the way that itunes has organized music has changed over the years and now it's just been now it's just a mish mishmash of everything so it looks like i found the proper folder so it's under music in another music folder um, i i plan to clean this up one day but for now uh, i'll just show you guys how to load music so i just go to here um, let me just pick this one i think this one's a classic one just highlight all of that and just click and drag you'll see it has a plus button and then um, it should sync it over. And it should be all on there. It's a bummer that you can't see um, what's on there. Well, I guess you can. All right, let's see. And so the other bummer about this is that it just lists it by by the song title. Um, so let me just go ahead and un, uh, eject my iPod and we'll go ahead and see if that album is on there by Rufio. It's, um, it's the album that I discovered them from. So yeah, you see it's not even there yet. So I'm still having issues. I'm not, I'm not sure how I did it the first time. So Go ahead and <clears throat> do that again. So now it shows up on the side. Music. No, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see, let's go find my music folder again. Music, iTunes, music. And I think, I'm almost positive I know why this is not working. Uh, music, oh, it should be in there. So one thing you have to look out for, um, I have all of this synced 
to Dropbox, and Dropbox um, introduced this new feature where it stores most of your stuff on the cloud, and you and you can choose to sync only some things to your to your actual uh, laptop. So let me just check if these are still if these are accessible locally. All right, so it looks like they are. Uh, let me just do that again. Bring it to iPod. There. So there now you'll see that it's updating the files. So that's, let me try another one. Um, so let's go back. Let's do their other album, one of their other albums. So you'll have to bring it over to the tab that you're actually have the iPod open on and then just hover over this. And now it, there's that plus sign where the arrow is. Go ahead and let go. And now you'll see that it's uploading. So it's not as intuitive as it used to be, but it's still, you can still do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eject it and make sure that um, it is on there. So let's go to artist. Down to Rufio, and there it is now, Rufio. And both of those albums are now on my iPod. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video showing how to load MP3s that you own onto your iPod. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later.